Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making potato, broccoli, and bacon casserole. Alright, I'm starting out here. I have a pound of thin sliced bacon. I'm going to put it in the oven. I have heat at 450. And I'm going to bake this until it gets crispy and golden brown. And I have this on a wire rack over a cookie sheet. Okay, I have eight nice size russet potatoes here. And I didn't peel these. If you prefer yours peeled, you can go ahead and do that. And I'm going to cut these up into uh, sort of like home fry size slices. And uh, after I get these all cut up, I'll be back. All right, I have my potatoes all sliced up, and I transfer them over into a 9 by 13 baking pan. I spray with some uh, canola vegetable spray to keep it from sticking. Now I'm going to give them a quick drizzle here with some olive oil. And this here will help them cook and uh, make, keep them moist. Now I'm going to put some uh, seasoning salt on here. You can use any kind you like. This is uh, that Tony Thatcheries or whatever, uh, Chatcheries. Creole. And I'm going to add in some pepper. And this here is just a taste with your uh, seasonings, however you like it. I'm going to give this a little shake. Alright, I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil. And get it out of here. And in that 450 degree oven, I'm going to bake this covered for about a half hour so those potatoes are almost uh, fully cooked and tender. Alright, my potatoes are done. They went for that half hour and i got to be careful of steam here because I've been lucky to be burning myself. Alright, I'm going to take this foil off of here and they're hot. Now, I have a 12 ounce bag of broccoli here in a steamable bag. I put in for the least amount of time which is 4 minutes. If you can't get in a steamable bag, just put some broccoli in a microwave safe bowl with a little bit of water and cover it and cook it for like four minutes. So I'm going to put that in on my potatoes. Grab a fork. And the reason I didn't put the broccoli in with the potatoes to bake is because it would have just cooked the hell out of this broccoli and it would have been mush. All right, now I have my broccoli here. I have some mild cheddar cheese. And this is a four cup pack. I don't think I'm going to use all four cups. But I'm going to put a lot on here. <coughs> Excuse me. And my bacon is done. It took about 15 minutes in the oven. And uh, I have it sitting here draining and cooling off so I can handle it. And you know what? I might just use all four cups of this cheese, the whole pack. Because, uh, like I said before, the cheesier the better. Okay. And as this is going to go back in the oven, as this cheese melts, it'll ooze down in between the potatoes and the broccoli. All right. Now my bacon here, you could break this up into pieces. I'm just going to break it like in half and lay it on here. Now my dogs smell this bacon, they'll come running. And I'm just going to layer it on top here because I want it to stay crispy and crisp up more while it's in the oven. If I put it underneath the uh, cheese, it might get soggy on me and I don't want that. Right now that I have all my bacon on there, I gave my hands a quick wash. I kind of went a little overboard and broke it up a little more than I said I was going to, but that's fine. I'm going to put that back in that 450 degree oven for probably about 8 to 10 minutes, maybe 12, so that cheese is melted down through there and then I'll get this out. All right, my casserole is done, and I was thinking, you know what, Nell, if you wanted to do a low-carb version of this, you could substitute the potatoes with cauliflower, and just uh, throw your cauliflower and broccoli and cover with the cheese and the bacon, and bake it for a few minutes to melt the cheese, and it would be a low-carb version. And this took probably about eight minutes for that cheese to melt. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want to dry out your broccoli. So let's go ahead and serve this up and see what we got. All right, there you have it, potato, broccoli, and bacon casserole. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. Until next time, I'll see you.